hey guys welcome back to my channel um um this is just a follow-up video from um the video that i did a while ago talking about what i got at salons international and um how i've been finding the products and also talking about a few things that i've tried out in the last month or so so the first thing i want to talk about is um my collection blow dryer i'm um, you saw my video when i did the unboxing from sounds international i love this new compact dryer and um, it's absolutely amazing however it does not dry my hair or anybody that um i've done in 10 minutes so let's just be real um i have done european hair with it and it does dry hair significantly faster than any other blow dryer i've used um maybe because it's a little bit more comp comp uh, compact and i have used it on both sides i've cleaned this side like once before it's really really easy to use it's extremely noisy which is a bit of a negative for me because as i said in my previous video i was looking for something that was a little bit quieter but this literally sounds like a hoover it's like and i and <laughs> it makes me laugh because it's actually louder than any other blow dryer that i've ever used and um, being that it's the smallest but I do really really like it and it does for me dry hair at least in half the time that I would normally dry the hair um, normally so it's definitely a bonus but I'm not going to lie to you it doesn't blow dry any hair that I've done so far in three minutes at all I would say about seven to eight which I think I mentioned in the, in the first video but I just wanted to test it out first and I was joking but yeah it does so I would say fine hair it dries it dries in about half the time it normally dries um and really really thick thick hair and coarse hair it takes a little bit longer but it's significantly faster than any other blow dryer that i've used so i'm not going to take that away from the blow dryer but the noise is really really <laughs> really really bad and i'm the only one in the salon so far that has it and um my colleagues florence and I think Bev are looking to get it as well so can you imagine the noise if we're all doing it at the same time I'm not looking forward to that but that's probably the only negative I've got to say about it so that's what I've got to say about the collector number two is um the Babyliss the Babyliss styling tool that I've got um I can't actually remember the name but I mentioned this in another video and I'll and I'll put any details um in the video so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about three things that I love about this um this strainer is one it kind of unclips itself so you can close it once you finish using it um to basically pack it away or just make it more compact um i love the fact that it's really slim and really great to look at and i also love the fact that it's got um the heat settings go up to 230 so you can program to where you would like the heat to go my negative is that this this ish is hot like i've burnt myself at least five times because i'm not used to the metal settings of it so i've also slightly burnt my client's head i'm not gonna lie and it's just because i'm so used to having tools that literally are not so metal but because this is all metal it's hot in every in every way like every part of it is hot even this part here which i really liked in the beginning if you use this for a long period of time this gets hot too so you actually like it's like it's like a bunsen burner <laughs> so i can't i love it but I also those are my negatives about it. it's literally so hot and um my third negative is that it doesn't turn itself off now i've been used to the bougie life and i'm used to tools that just basically look after themselves all my other straighteners turn themselves off when they get too hot cool themselves down and i pack them away this one here i i think what at least three times i've clamped it shut and i burnt myself because i thought it was already it had turned itself off because i left it there for about an hour i've burnt um the top of my drawers because i've just left it on on the heat mat and i've just thought yeah it's going to turn itself it does not turn itself off it stays hot and then the metal gets even more hot so just together it's a problem but you know it is one of the better straighteners that i have i can't say it's maybe it's i can't say it's better than the ones that i have i just know that it's another great straightener would i buy this one again probably not but it's still a good investment um i still pretty much i'm set with my divas and my coriolis and um 
I like what they do, but I just feel like the metal in this is really impractical. Product. So I mentioned this Honey Sheer Co Wash and um, one of my clients actually reminded me that I talked about this and she wanted to know the verdict. The verdict is a yes, it's a go. I wear this, um, I actually wash my hair with this um, now instead of the, I think I talked about the As I Am and now it's a staple in my regime, it leaves my hair really, feeling really soft. So if you're looking for something to what kind of co-wash your hair with with relaxed hair you've got a short haircut and you don't really want to do the full-blown um shampoo this is a great one and um i wouldn't really recommend anything else because i haven't tried anything else apart from this and as i am so this is definitely one that i love um, it leaves my hair feeling really really soft and i do have dry scalp so if i haven't washed my hair for more than six days i don't co-wash my hair i literally go and shampoo because within two days my scalp will flare up again so it is something that you you can use in in the week in between like if you're going to the gym if you just need a quick wash definitely recommend this that's all i've got to say thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you on my next one bye